this is Praxis, and I'm back in the bathroom because I was able to get another bucket of this mastic glue. Uh, I had a partial one left over, and I wanted to make sure I could do the whole job all at once. So uh, yesterday I was able to get another one, and now I'm putting it up on the wall. I also put it at the same time on the tile. The tile's sitting all over here. It's uh, resting on the sink there. Uh, usually when you read the instructions for these, like if you're putting tiles on your floor, uh, they talk about just... Um, uh, you know, you just put the mastic on the floor and then you put the tiles into it. I always like to put it on both, uh, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One is because uh, it just increases the chances of having good uh, connectivity uh, with the two. You know, you get mastic all over that, you got mastic all over this, and then you're going to push the two oozy mastics uh, together into each other. So it just it increases the, the chances of you know, just making sure that you got everything everywhere. Uh, the, the second reason is, as I'm pushing this uh, mastic into the wall here, um, you know, the wall is a porous surface. It has little nooks and crannies and grooves and things like that. And as I'm, as I'm pushing this stuff in, it's pushing and penetrating down into the, the wood to get a better grip. Uh, I want to have the same kind of thing on the tile. So when I am putting the stuff on, I always just make sure that I am you know, massaging it and getting it down into the nooks and the crannies of the tile as well. It just gives you a better connection. It's not the fastest way to do it, and I can see why professionals don't, uh, because, you know, <laughs> they want to get in and out of your house and get your money. Uh, not all of them. There are some that, you know, really have pride in their, their job, but, you know, most of the professionals that I run into, they want to get in, get out, and get paid. Um, but for, uh, you know, your own work, you, you know, you really want this stuff to last years and years and years, so... Uh, I think it's always good to put it on both surfaces, and I've uh, I've seen you know professional tile work where you know there'll be you know tiles that jiggle on and things like that. So it's it's not without uh, benefit doing it this way. I've never had any of my tiles ever loosen or jiggle by doing this kind of double application method. Um, uh, you'll notice that this uh, little trowel or whatever the hell the thing's called that I'm using to put the, uh, the mastic on the wall, it's got kind of teeth on one side and it kind of uh, gives it a little bit of a texture. I have a couple of these uh, trowels and this is not my preferred one. I would prefer to have one I've got that has like quarter inch teeth uh, that are wider and longer than this one. I just, I can't find it so I'm using this. It's going to be fine but um, I just wanted to mention that that if you're, if you're going out and shopping for this purpose, get one of the ones with the, the wider teeth between it. I think that it uh, does a better job on this because you get, uh, uh, when I scrape it across and you get these like valleys and, and uh, troughs and things like that, you get uh, higher, uh, higher peaks uh, with, the, with the quarter inch one. But because I'm putting the, the, the mastic on both surfaces, I'm not really concerned about it. But again, if you're, if you're gonna buy a tool, you might as well get the best one you can. And I would recommend the ones with the, uh, yeah, the bigger, uh, bigger, deeper relief. I'm having a little trouble actually getting up behind, uh, behind here. I, I guess I could just put it on my hand. But you know what? I've got these little pieces of wood. Maybe I can use one of these pieces of wood to get it up there. These pieces of wood actually are going to get used in a little bit uh, because I'm going to use them as spacers on the bottom. So when I set the tile up here, it doesn't uh, doesn't collapse down and uh, and sit right onto the uh, the shower stall here. There'll be a little bit of a gap. Okay, working that in there. All right, so I put these guys together uh, and then kind of continue across the whole place. I should be able to get this job pretty easily done today. And then I'm going to let it sit for several days at the very least. And, uh, and then once it has sit and it's dried, uh, at that point I will be able to uh, put the grout in and uh, start finishing up the job. Because after the grout, you got to wait for the grout to dry, and then after the grout, you, I usually put like a tongue oil seal on here. So it's, you know, it's a couple of weeks, even though I'm finally getting tiles up. It's going to be a couple of weeks of waiting time and drying time before this place is really ready to go. That's it. Thanks for watching.